Hey, how's it going out there, everyone? WFS here. And I got to say, this woman right here is the gift that just keeps on giving. She's been handed. Rachel Zegler has been given one of the most iconic roles to play. And since she has been awarded the role and since they went on strike, she has done nothing but trash the original. Trash the, and in trashing the original, she has insulted the creator of it, the one who brought all our Disney animation to life, Walt Disney himself. She's insulted him, she's insulted the writers, and all the people who have played Snow White, done the story, created the music, these incredible characters. She just is the gift that keeps on giving if you want to keep belittling and trashing and hating on iconic classic characters. She started off recently with complaining that she was in a dress for 18 hours playing this iconic princess and should be given a raise and that she should be getting paid every hour that the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is streaming on Disney+, Plus, meaning her new one. And now, now, she has come out and attacked, attacked, excuse me, attacked Prince Charming as being a stalker. What the heck is she thinking? Does she do this stuff? Does she say this stuff because she's clueless, like whatever? Or does she say this stuff because it's just going to get her attention and it wants to see if she can attract certain people to help promote their cause and get her on board with whatever it is she's promoting? I mean, seriously, this woman, I don't know what to say here, but I want to get into this article here because Bob, Bob, seriously, if she believes what she is peddling here, you really need to reconsider her contract seriously because she is telling people that Prince Charming is a stalker. I mean, okay, let's get into the article. Okay, so I'm reading the article from the SK Pop and Walking PR Disaster. Internet slams Rachel Zegler for calling Prince Charming a creepy stalker as Snow White contra contra excuse me, controversy rages on. She just doesn't know when to zip it. Ahead of the release of Snow White, Rachel Zegler, who has been cast as a tutiller character or tutiller in the upcoming Disney movie, is receiving massive backlash online. Recently, during a media interaction, Zegler said that Prince Charming was a creepy stalker. And you're a bloody idiot. Rachel's remarks was not well received online and several internet users reacted to it and said that she should watch the movie first and then talk about it. Duh. A social media user at WEX247 reacted to it and said that the actress was a walking PR disaster for Disney. She is. If this is truly what she believes, she's clueless. Okay, so in this scene right here, we have the seven dwarfs after Snow White was tricked into biting into the poison apple and falling asleep. They have her in a nice little coffin here. They're showing their respects. They feel sorry for what's happened because she was a nice girl and she was just treated so badly. Prince Charming comes along, gives her a kiss, wakes her up from the curse. Yeah, real stalker going on here. The way Rachel has a... The way Rachel's telling the story, she'd have us believe that he shouldn't be anywhere near it and she should be sleeping for the rest of her life. Good going, Rachel. I want you working in my movies. Bob, give this woman a raise. Okay, so check this out. The original cartoon came out in 1937. It was, and it was very evident. There is a great emphasis on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her Weird, weird. So so we didn't do that this time. An actor who was hired for the film, Andrew Burn Burnap, 
He's a great guy. All of Andrew's scenes could be deleted. Who knows? He's Hollywood's baby. Netizens were not happy with Rachel Zegler's comments in the video where she called Prince Charming creepy. They said that the woke take should not be taken should not be included in this. A social media user at Alex Hamstrong reacted to this and said, Rachel Zegler, aka Snow Woke, is one of the most may new arrivals in Hollywood. She calls the original Snow White Prince a stalker. Has she ever watched the original movie? Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole point I'm trying to make here. Bob, you got to do something about this. Because here's my, here's what I'm saying to not only you, Bob Iger. I'm saying this to your shareholders. I'm saying this to the board of directors. And I'm saying this to all the people out there who subscribe to Disney+. Plus. If this is the type of garbage that Disney is continuing to dr drop on us, it's time to drop Disney. It is time to pull a Bud Light on Disney. We've already been doing it, but it's time to get even more aggressive about it, apparently. Supposedly, there have been over 700,000 subscribers that have dropped from Disney Plus in the past two fiscal quarters of Disney this year. And I'm hoping that more drop out. Yes, my friends, it is absolutely time that we put an end to this nonsense where we destroy our classic films just so we can make people happy today. What a bunch of bull this is. Prince Charming is a stalker. Well, maybe the Prince Charming from Shrek. Yes, I can see that, but not this dude. No, he was cool. He was there to save the day. And honestly, this garbage has got to stop. Bob, cancel this movie. I'm praying. I heard only 30% of the movie was made before the strike happened. And if you have any, any hope of it making any movie money, excuse me, you'll fire her and get a new director, new writers, and fix this damage. Okay, this is the part that's very interesting right here. According to several media reports, the plan for remaking the 1937 Snow White movie was finalized, again, finalized in 2016. What took you so long? The filming of the movie began in 22. From March to July, the movie Gal, excuse me, Gal Gata is going to play the role of the evil queen. And forgive me if I did not pronounce the name right. People, it is time to fix this. Okay, so she's been quoted as saying that this film is not, it's not 1937 anymore. She's not going to be saved by the prince. They've rewrote the story for a modern audience. You can't rewrite Snow White. Everything is pretty much in there. And every at least the Disney version, everyone's loved it. And if you are rewriting this story and completely changing Snow White, she's not needing the seven dwarfs to rescue her. She's going to be the warrior she knows how to be. And she doesn't need Prince Charming to save her. After all, Prince Charming is a stalker. Then you're not making Snow White. You're making some other movie. And Walt Disney himself is probably rolling over in his grave right now over the desecration of his first movie and the classic that you are just ruining. Bob, fix this. Unless you want to see more people leave Disney Plus, fix this now. I'm telling you, that's the only way you're going to solve this problem. My friends, I'm WFS. And I'm going to end the video right here. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about all this. I want to hear from you. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.